So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day two of ground. So turning the shower water cooler. Hmm. And it's a Sunday yum. So come into child's pose and we shall begin. Come, come. So coming into your child's pose. Your knees are bent, your bum is back towards your heels and your arms are long and out in front of you. If for any reason you want to protect your shoulder or it's very early in the morning and you don't like your head low, then just hold on to your head a little bit higher. Just deepen your breath into the back of your body. We're going to focus on twisting today as we wander through our yum. Nice. And just notice as you rest here, the difference between the left side of your back and the right side of your back. Can you feel if one side of your back is closer to the ceiling or lower down towards the floor? Just as you lie here. Often I feel like my dominant side has more muscle and it feels bigger and more up towards the ceiling. And my other side feels a little bit lower and smaller. Nice, come forward onto your hands and knees and just rounding your back, arching your back and does that same awareness of the back of your body continue? As you arch, as you round, is there one side of your back that moves deeper towards the ceiling as you round? And does the side of your back seem to connect a bit more towards the floor? Well, they might be opposite sides that are doing opposite things. Nice, come to neutral and then take your right hand and slide it underneath your left armpit so that your right shoulder comes to the floor. Just pause there. So now we've taken our spine and we've done extraordinary stuff to it. So now checking in with one side is closer to the ceiling or not isn't so obvious. So let's just really embrace the twist. So push your right shoulder a little bit more into the floor, engage it into the floor. I really feel like you're connecting through your spine and to do so, I'm going to draw my rib cage a little bit backwards. So I feel I'm filling into the back of my body and lengthening. Nice. Come all the way back up. Other side, take your left hand, glide it under so your left shoulder comes to the floor. My right hand is really strong and it's acting like scaffolding. And my left shoulder is also engaging into the floor. And then I'm lengthening through the spine by pulling my rib cage backwards, filling backwards into my body. And deepening. Let's come back to center. Right. So imagine that you want to look at the ceiling just behind you. How would you look towards the ceiling just behind you, above the back of your head? Go one way and then go the other way. For me, I, if I'm turning towards the left, I bend my right elbow. But notice what you do. This is a gesture. So you know how you do this movement. One more time each side. How do you look over the back of your head towards the ceiling on the right? And then over the back of your head towards the left. Nice. Round your back. And arch your back. Cool. Round your back. Arch your back. Wonderful. Come sit on, your, on the floor. Legs are long and out. So I was just walking in the grass. <laughs> so my feet are probably filthy. <laughs> um, so come sit tall. Your feet are maybe three or four feet apart. Four, three. Yeah, see. So you shouldn't feel all that uncomfortable. You know, you, if you're struggling to sit up tall, then put something underneath your bum, like a pillow or a book or um, something that gives you a little bit of a lift and it'll support your spine. So hands to your thighs and just begin to lengthen already. So I'm pushing down into my heels. 
And just feel like as you ground into your pelvis, as you feel the two sit bones on the floor, you're lifting up through the top of your head. And is there a sit bone that feels more connected to the floor? Is there a sit bone that feels bigger or pointier? Nice. Bring your left hand to your right thigh and your right hand is just beside you. And then lift up through the spine and get really tall here. Pull your right shoulder back by walking your right shoulder a little bit more around the corner. Now you're just lengthening. You have this sense of lengthen through your spine. And again, ground down through both sit bones and both legs are long. So I'm really not letting my hip lift off the floor as I do this. Breathe into your belly, get taller. Cool. Come back to center, lengthen both sit bones down and then turn towards the left. So right hand is on the left thigh, left hand is around the corner behind you. I'm just focusing on getting really tall and anchoring that right sit bone into the floor because the right sit bone wants to follow me. Breathing, lengthening, connecting, grounding. Nice, come back to center. So bring your left hand to your right shin. Now we're a little bit more forward, so lengthen through your spine and then around your back like your head is going to drop towards your knee. Arch your back, draw your chest and belly forward and then around. Arch your back and round. Nice. So create length, hand is on your shin and drop the weight back into that left sit bone and lengthen through your spine again. Twisting towards the right, and just feeling it through the whole of your body. Nice. Slide your left hand down towards the right foot and then come back up. Slide and back up. One more time. Slide, pause in the reaching and sliding down. Anchor down through both sit bones, twisting by creating length through the spine. Draw that right shoulder back. Breathe into your belly. Nice. Come all the way back up. Other side. So left hand to the floor, right hand to your shin, round your back, arch your back, round your back, arch, nice, one more time, round your back, and then create length, arching your back, anchor down through the right sit bone, and lean deeply forward with your chest, my head is high, my chest is leaning forward. Nice. And then slide. Slide your right hand down towards the baby toe side of your left foot and then come back up. Slide. And whatever distance you're sliding, slow it down so that the don't like just slide fast and get stuck. <laughs> so you're not, you know, so like really feel a sense of motion in your body. One more time. Pause where you are. Reaching through that right arm, lengthening through the right side of your body, but anchoring down through the right hip. Nice, come all the way back up. Cool. So cross your shins across each other so that your my feet are aren't close to my hips, they're close to my knees. And I'm trying to bring my feet underneath my knees. We were doing this yesterday as well. So sitting up tall. And then just draw a circle with your belly. <laughs> so this will meet all kinds of extraordinary places in your hips. <laughs> and then in the other direction. Super. Lean forward. Rock from side to side. Gently. So it should be the hips that are feeling this. If your knees are feeling it, then 
take your knee out of the equation. Me lengthen your leg out long, do something. So really feeling it in your hips as you do this. Cool. Change. Oh, actually, pause for a second. Feet are in the air. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. And then the other direction. Cross your left shin in front of the right, or whichever way you did last time, the other way around now. Sitting up tall, roll through your belly. And my fingers are like scaffolding. I have them anchored to the floor and I'm creating movement like a skipping rope through my torso. Encountering <laughs> all kinds of complex sensations. Nice, lean forward, further forward. And just lean a bit from side to side. Again, it should be your hips, not your knees. There, like, there is a little bit of pressure into your knees, but there shouldn't be any discomfort. Nice, lean back, lift your feet. So pause there with your feet up and your hands forward. Nice. Stretch your right leg up. Stretch your left leg up. Nice, bring the soles of your feet together, pull on your shins, lengthen through your spine. Nice, roll all the way back and land on the floor. And so as you land on the floor, we've been sitting for a while, so perhaps you feel that in your lower back, down through your spine. So let your spine settle. So often for me, there's this kind of achy, groany, like, through the deep of my spine as I settle. And I just let that happen. Really honoring all the ligaments and muscles and all the different strands of me that hold me together are softening into a different gravitational field. <laughs> Feet are hip distance apart. So my spine is settled, so I'm gonna start moving now. So sway your knees from side to side. Hmm. So as they sway, feel the deep belly, the hips. Bring your arms wide as you sway. Maybe turn your head in the opposite direction from your knees. Nice. Come all the way back up to center. Gliders. Drop your knee down towards the right. Glide the left knee up towards your right shoulder. And then back. Gliders to the left. Back, and gliders. One more time. Mm, gliders. Cool. Back to center, bring your right foot up towards the ceiling and then bend your right knee so that your ankle is resting on top of the left knee. And then lift your left foot off the floor and squeeze this shape towards you. So we're lengthening and deepening into the back of the right hip for a few minutes. And just widen through your shoulders, broaden through your sit bones. Nice. Drop your left foot to the floor. Push your left elbow into the floor and drop this shape over towards the left. Turn your head towards the right. Reach your right arm long. And then your right foot is standing on the floor and your right knee is lifting away from you, opening. So rather than your right knee falling towards the floor, let your right knee move away from the inner knee side of the floor. <laughs> Let's breathe into that. Nice. So lift your, drop your right knee towards the floor, lift your right foot up and come back to center with your legs not attached. Um, just it's better for your lower back. Other side, bring your left foot to the right knee, lift your right foot off the floor, squeeze that deeply up towards you. And just settle into your breath, widen through the back of your body, deepen into the sense of this moment.
Nice. Drop your foot to the floor. Bring your right elbow deeply to the floor. Drop this shape down towards the right side. And my left foot is now standing on the floor. I'm opening my left knee away from me. Turn your head towards the left and look down along the left arm. Open the left arm out. Nice. Drop your left knee towards the floor. Lift your left foot off the floor. Come all the way back to center. Squeeze both knees up towards you. And just rock from side to side. Right. So we're going to come up into a seated position, very similar to how we started the class. And so come all the way up. Sit up. And then bring your feet wide again. And so our feet are wide. We're sitting up tall. And then turn and look behind you to the right and let your left hip lift as you go and let your knees bend as you go and then try and touch the floor as far back with your left hand as you can and then come back to center stretch your legs out long cool other side turn towards the left oh, turn towards the left bend your knees as you go and then touch the floor with your right hand behind you and then come back so just turn, touch, and I'm letting the, the back hip really follow me. Also, you'll find that you're walking towards the TV. <laughs> nice, right, come back to center. So bend both knees into zigzag. So your two knees are in zigzag and they're over towards the right right nice bring your right hand behind you and then turn and look behind you towards the right side my left hand is on my right knee and i have this sense of being really long through the front of my body and lengthening through my spine maybe even walk your right hand a little bit more around the corner and come up onto your fingertips because tendency is that you're just flopping back into the right hand so come up onto the right fingertips so that there's your torso is trying to hold itself rather than you resting all your weight down into the right hand. So if you're looking there, so rather than leaning into your hand, you're really deeply up onto the fingertips, pushing into that right knee with your left hand and rising through the spine, turning more and more towards the right. Nice. Come back to center. Lengthen your legs out long. Zigzag to the left. So both knees to the left. Turn towards the left. Bring your left hand way around the corner. And then bring your right hand to your left knee and rise up. Again, come up onto the fingertips of the left hand. Or even try, like, be as light as you can with your left hand. So it's almost like your left hand wants to float off the floor as you spiral, as you twist. Breathe into your belly. Nice. Come back to center. Stretch both legs straight out in front of you. And then just round your back forward. And then rise up. And do it again. How do you reach your arms long and out in front of you? And then come back up. And then this time you can bend your knees if you feel like your legs are very tight or rounding forward if you have length in the back of your hamstrings. And when you're down here, then move. So don't get stuck in the intensity. Like lift one bum off the floor and then the other or Change the direction of your feet. Play the many strings on the back of the, the thigh. So rather than getting stuck in that one place of high intensity, you just begin to travel through all the different intensities in the back of your body. Maybe rounding your back, arching your back, rounding your back, and arching. 
So we'll pause and come to stillness just for 30 seconds or so. Slowly coming up and come lie on the floor all the way down. As you land on the floor, let's find a way to rest. Feels very supportive for me right now to have that my hands on the front of my hip bones. Let's see for you where that feels like resource or wellness to hold or to rest your arms. How wonderful. So stay there just for another minute or so. Love it. Hmm, slightly different Sunday yum. How yum. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, today is ground to, and so turn the shower water cooler. And so last yeah, two or three weeks now, I've been turning the shower water down at the end, but it's not to cold, you know, it's not to freezing cold. It's more just a coolness that gives me a sense of my skin and the boundary of me. It's just really nice. It's like, oh, look, there's, there's my skin and this is my response to this slightly cooler water. And um, yeah, and I've started playing with like the whole shower. How, how would I cool the water slightly more? It's just interesting. Notice the temperature of the water that you're showering in and just at the end, turn it down a tiny bit and feel that with your body. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow and uh, we'll be back standing and grooving and doing awesome things again. Um, yeah, day three of ground. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me. It's um, very nice to have you here. Ciao, ciao. Mm -hmm.